Hello and welcome guys, welcome back to another video and today we're going to be talking about FIFA 16 price ranges. You guys keep asking me, Fuji, are EA bringing in price ranges for FIFA 16? What are your thoughts? So today we're going to cover it and we're going to have what? Well, hopefully we're going to start a little bit of a discussion in the comment section to see if you agree. But before we start, as you know, if you are needing those very cheap Ultimate Team coins to purchase all the beast players, make sure to check out FIFAUltimateTeamCoins.com, links in the description, go use my code Fuji for 5% off. And if you need game codes or anything gaming related, G2 are having a sale so go and check them out use the code fuji for three percent off your total order on that site so price ranges are they going to be in fifa 16 you guys keep asking me and ea have openly come out and said they are in two minds whether or not to bring them in it's 50 15 now that's kind of worrying seeing as they turn fifa 15 into some beta testing bringing in price ranges halfway during the year for like fifa 16 to test it out and at this point with all of that testing and they still don't know yeah, that's not a good place to be in. And a lot of people were so annoyed when they did bring them in because they lost coins, like maybe they invested in players. And yeah, it dropped, they, they price capped uh, loads of them, well, everyone, and uh, yeah, you've been losing coins, which isn't too great. And if you weren't like an avid player or someone that just loves the game as much as I do, then of course, you're gonna neglect it and move on to something else because you don't, you don't wanna play it anymore. And it's not a good place to be in. But I'm gonna give you my opinions on what I think they should do because really, they don't know. They wanna see whether or not coins are going to be on the market before they make a decision but that's too late because they don't know whether or not coins are going to be on the market until the game is out and i think it's going to look a little bit bad especially at the start of fifa 16 if they're like oh we, we don't have price ranges oh now we've brought them in it's going to be sort of that situation again so um if they were to bring them in so say if they had them at the start because they want to give you guys a level playing field not not only like you me everybody right um and that's understandable they want to give you guys the option if you are going to grind out playing games or you're going to buy fifa points and open packs they want to allow you guys to afford like high rated players so if price ranges weren't a thing for fifa 16 like i guess suarez is going to be 90 rated or maybe 91 he would probably be going for if price ranges weren't around 800 to 1.2 million something something around there so if price ranges were in play maybe he would be 400,000 coins or like 300,000 coins or something that EA want the market to be I guess satisfactory for them and everybody else so if that's the case and coins are still around what's going to happen this like you can see on the screen everybody will become extinct because coins will be pretty cheap as well at the start of fifa at 16 they'll be around on websites in like the space of two days and everyone will buy coins buy up all these players thinking that ea will up the up the market value of them and they will make their coins back and yeah that's not good that's not good for the start of fifa 16 it could in fact kill it if all these players are actually extinct so we've had a look at if price ranges were a thing now let's just remove them let's have a look sort of um a clean slate fifa 16 no price ranges what is going to happen so if coins are around players like ronaldo messi ibra they will all start going up and especially like i think maybe two weeks in you're going to be seeing them hit two million three million coins if coins are cheap which they were at the start of fifa 15 they're going to be flooded on the market and that is going to be the issue again now now I feel with those two being said, so we've had a look at price ranges are there and price ranges aren't there. Now I feel that because EA don't want to affect uh, sales of the game and they want to make money, I don't think they're going to have price ranges at the, at the start. So they're going to allow everyone to do what they wish. They're going to have a look at the market and monitor it. And that's going to allow like normal users as well uh, that just put, sort of play like the one or two games. They're going to see player prices and they're going to want to open packs because they want to sell these players so they're going to they're going to generate more sales from packs which is ea yet again they're going to make more money um and then i feel that if it does get out of control so ea are still making money at this point and then if it does get out of control what they will do is they will bring in price ranges cut them all off and it's going to be sort of the same uh, situation like we found ourselves in for fifa 15 but seeing as if it is a good game i don't think it will kill it um and the servers yeah you know if, if they're pretty good then i think price ranges are good I, I guess the game is good with price ranges because i understand what they're trying to do but they're better without but let me know in the comment section with those two being uh, said and explained what would you prefer ea to do would you like them to bring in price ranges or would you like to remove them for fifa 16 let me know but if you have enjoyed and you've liked sort of my opinions on the on the actual matter itself then please do drop a like on the video and uh, yeah i will see you guys on my next one i'll probably be streaming tonight as well so make sure to follow me on uh, twitter and twitch links also down there in the description so yeah thanks ever so much for watching team fuji i'm out Woo!